So, I just got like one of those biggest buff ever and I just glanced on it and didn't really consider how big of a change this really was till I actually looked into not only Pokemon's video but also just looked at which mods are gonna come in this Pokedex and what will that mean going forward and I realized that there is a lot more than just hail becoming snow that is the buff and we, we kinda need to develop into that going into the game that's coming out tomorrow as hail changed to snow, which means all of a sudden we now create snowstorms instead, we have basically snow warning I guess instead of hail warning, and uh, this will mean that every ice type will now get, much like rock types, a buff in their defenses, but this will be physical defense instead of regular defenses. This all of a sudden means that every ice type now has a chance to take neutral damage on physical hits. Consider that physical mods got buffed in duration, more with Scald not being as well distributed and Burr not being so prevalent as it previously was. They are actually an option to come in on this, and, and that's kinda strange how that kinda, kinda works. I'm <laughs> I love it, I think it's incredible, but also it does mean that we have to reevaluate a few things here moving forward. So, Obama Snow is probably the first one to talk about. Nothing new about Obama Snow is happening. It has no broader move pool. It's now just a hailed or snow setter with a defense buff. But it has fair defenses and could very well capitalize on heavy duty boots or, you know, an item to boost its turn even further. I'm not sure it's going to be the same item if they change the name of it. I'm, it's blowing my mind how that might actually be complex. Don't mind that. But Obama Snow will now be not only a very very glued like Pokemon, but being one of the only snow warning setters, but also it will be now theoretically and much like Tyranitar, bulkier. And I wanna enforce that it's quite interesting to think if Assault Vest and this type of buff works together, that all of a sudden we have a very thick ice time switching in on and on and it has potential recovery with Synthesis and, you know, Giga Drain and whatnot. Great Pokemon. The other big buff that is worth mentioning is Bear Tick's broader move pool, because Bear Tick has always been a, f well, subpar Slush Rusher and uh, Rain or Switch Swimmer. It, it worked as an option if, if you want to use something else, but now, thanks to buff, it is now a very diverse, scary Pokemon. First and foremost, already has Soul Stance, already has Aqua Jet, but this duration, it finally got access to Earthquake, which is a much needed filler move if you want to deal with potential of fire types, you want to take your Icicle Crashes, and it also got close combat, making sure that Super Power, which was your only option before, um, is it's not great Super Power, it kind of disrupt whatever you have going for you, and being able to use close combat instead of future steel attack without losing offensive attack or, or attack at all and actually can set up with sword stance without risking it being kind of disrupted as they go makes bear take a very viable option not only for of course slush rush teams or snow teams but even for rain teams because of this tool however bear take will get that defense race which is incredible for it more so because it is actually quite bulky, and if it can become bulkier on the switch in, wh what is not to like? This bear thing is gonna be an awesome this generation. And another thing I kind of just want to glance on is Avalug. Like, Avalug is. It doesn't need more defense, but what happens if we do? Well, we get a 513 defensive Pokemon. There is. There is no fatter defensive Pokemon there is on the Switch than as an Avalog, and it might actually be capitalized on an Ice Body. Now, Heavy Duty Boot is what you want to use, and Sturdy is usually its ability, but I think with these defense boosts, Ice Body might actually be quite the theme on it. Hell, Ice Body leftovers would be um, overkill to say the least. But yeah, Evilog is super fat, and I don't know whether or not um, Defense Race Inhale affects its body press. I hope it does, because if so, it got a dangerous body press, probably the scariest in the game. Another ice type to actually get a theoretical boost uh, with tetralizing and whatnot is Frostmoth. Frostmoth has, you know, those ice scale ability which boosts your special defense by one, no matter what. It will now have a defense raise too, it making it probably extremely viable for quiver dances as it can probably stay in. It still lacks recovery and I guess, you know, it is what it is. But if you're able to pull off a tetralizing of you know a fire type, all of a sudden Frostmoth has you know stabbing a fire and stabbing eyes and quiver dances and can easily survive those last turns of you know, three turns to be able to tetralize. And I think 
Inhale Frostmoth is maybe one of the most underrated Pokemon there is and I can't wait to use it. However, we have one more buff that we need to talk about. A benefit that every other weather has have is that no matter what weather it is, it has benefited another type in. For example, sun makes sure that rock types is not weak to water in theory, rain makes sure that steel types are not weak to um, fire, which works. I, I love the synergy. And sand has always had sand rushers that are in ground type. It, it's always been this type of synergy, yet um, unfortunately, really that hasn't until yet happened with the snow or hail pokemon we're gonna call them snow pokemon here and out but this is gonna change it's gonna change fundamentally because slow king lost teleport making its slow pirate go away however it's the only mod that will learn shielding reception shielding reception is a switch out moves that once it switches out creates a, a snowstorm I want to enforce how great this is as slow king and slow king from the gallery form are a type combination that helps ice type with their fire weakness previously people have used like overcut pokemon to kind of niche it in but always been use as many slush rushes as possible and always be fundamentally weak to fighting a fire slow king solves a lot of those issues and i'm glad to see this is something that is enforced to make them well quite frankly better um and this will do just that i really can't stress this enough i hope more pokemon gets this type of utilities but slow king is quite frankly the most solid pokemon's to and hail team as its defensive typing works well against holding ice type somewhat alive and um, just have another setter that isn't you no, know, an ice type is fundamentally great. This means that Obama Snow and Slow King might be the most strangest yet most perfect combination there is. Only watching out for those pesky U turns. But besides that, it is phenomenal and it leaves Slow King with a private move that it didn't have before as it lost teleport. So, with that said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you want to see more from me of this. And uh, let's make the Paldean region the first real region where snow will triumph. And I'm sure it will. Until then, as always, take care, everyone.